Hi, I'm recording this video to solve a question about a past paper, exactly May, June 2023, of uh, 9702 uh, paper 1, the multiple choice option of a physics A level, Cambridge A level exam. Uh, it's a question that I've seen come up uh, throughout the years, uh, twice maybe, three times. Uh, and every time it comes up, uh, I forget how to solve it, because it's not really fairly straightforward. Depending on the depending on the data that they give you, it can be solved various ways, uh, and um, and one has to know what Cambridge expects from you. Okay, so the question exactly is question number two of this exam, which is, what is the best estimate of the number of atoms in a piece of metal of volume fifty centimeters cubed? And they give you numbers, and that's it. They don't give you anything. If you see uh, the solution of this uh, on the internet. Some of the uh, people who've posted the solutions expect you to know the density of a metal, uh, the weight of a metal, or several other things. But I wanted to know exactly what Cambridge expected in this question. And so I went directly to uh, the uh, notes that you have after an exam. And uh, what they're expecting you to know is something that comes in, in, the, in the book, and it's approximately the diameter of an atom. You should know that an atom is more or less 1.0 times 10 to the power of minus 10 meters. It's not me saying this. It comes in the book. It's not me saying this. So if you look at the examiner reports for teachers, candidates are expected to recall that the diameter of an atom is in the order of 1.0 times 10 to the power of minus 10 meters. Okay? So how can we solve it with that prior knowledge? And I insist, this means that you don't really need to know any density of metals or the weight of metals worth. Just the diameter of an, um, of an atom that works for any uh, substance. Okay, so the diameter is 1.0 times 10 to the power of minus 10 meters. We're given a volume of 50 centimeters cubed. First thing that we have to do is convert 15 centimeter, 50 centimeters Two meters cube. Remember that we have meters, then we have uh, decimeters, then we have centimeters. Each step would be 10, but when it's to the power of 3, it's 10 cubed. Okay, so we would have to, as we're going upwards, divide by 10. So it would be 50 divided by 1, 2. It's two steps would be 100 if it, will, if it were centimeters, but it's cubed. So we have to cube that. Okay, so that's 50 divided by 10 to the power of 2 to the power of 3. I'm going to do this very slowly. That's 10 to the power of 6. That's 50 times 10 to the power of minus 6, which is 5 times 10 to the power of 1 times 10 to the power of minus 6, and that's 5 times 10 to the power of minus 5 meters cubed. So that we have now that in meters cubed. That's the first step. If we know that the diameter is that, and we can suppose that in a metal, we would have something like a cube as an approximation. We could approximate the uh, an atom in a, a, as a cube. And we can consider that we could have that diameter in this direction, that same diameter in this direction, and the same di diameter in that direction. So we would have, as an approximate of the volume of an atom, more or less 1 times 10 to the power of minus 10 cubed. Because we would have 10 to the power of minus 10 in the x-axis, in the y-axis, and in the z-axis. So that's 1 times 10 to the power of minus 30 meters. So we have this 1 atom is this. So how do we find the number of atoms? We just divide. The whole uh, volume that we have divided by an estimate of the, num of, uh, of the volume of one atom. And that's 5 times 10 to the power of minus 5 times 10 to the power of 30, which is 5 times 10 to the power of minus 25. That's 5 times 10 to the power of minus 25 atoms. Said. An approximation. So let's go 
that would be 5 to the power of 25 uh, atoms, that would be option B. We go to marking scheme, we've got option B, so that's the correct one. So that's how we solve this exercise. It's not complicated, but as I said, you are expected to know. And there's been various questions where they asked this in one or another way. The diameter of an atom.